Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. I've got a beautiful guest for you because she's got a beautiful book, Donna Jo Napoli. She is the author of Treasure, Treasury of Magical Tales. This is from around the world and it's done by one of my favorite groups, National Geographic. Donna Jo Napoli, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Thank you so much for having me. All right. This oh, and I gotta give um, kudos to Christina Baylett. I think that's how you say her name. The um, graphics are outstanding. The book is outstanding, but the graphics are just—they're just through the roof. Christina is marvelous. National Geographic put us together on the first book that I did for them, which was uh, a treasury of Greek mythology. And we just hit it off. And we have been working together since. Uh, we did um, Egyptian mythology, Norse mythology, the Arabian Nights, uh, tales from the ancient Bible. And now we're, we've got magical tales. I it's like your book because it's so inclusive. It's so cultural. Uh, it, 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 tr- it touches upon many different cultures. How did you know to do that? <laughs> I set out to do that. I, um, yeah, I believe that the world right now needs to not think of any one country being ahead of any other. We need to recognize that we are connected and connected in such a way that if you try to pull apart quickly, everything hurts. Um, We have to take care of each other. So we have to look at each other and understand that we can communicate. We have a lot in common and we need to work together. So I looked for tales which were different externally. Maybe you believe in ogres or witches or fairies or psychological magic. Whatever you believe in, how do you face it? Well, once you went to countries like Africa and Arabia, I mean, they have tales abound because, you know, that's where we get Aladdin from and different kinds of tales. And you guys, you tapped into that very, very well. And your illustrator really followed you on that. I love the frog who uh, tried hand, but I got a question for you. This comes from. Where did this come from? This come from Instagram because we told people that you were coming on the show. They want to know about half a rooster. In half a rooster, it talks about quite a bit of killing. They want to know why. Yeah. Okay. Um, And I love that story. And uh, it is um, a dreadful story. The two women are fighting over this rooster, one of whom loves a rooster and the other one is just jealous that the first one uh, uh, should be part owner of the rooster. So she cuts it in half. Um, then the one who doesn't love the rooster eats it. The one who loves the rooster, the rooster is alive, but he's half a rooster and he goes about his life. That's a very magical thing. He goes about his life and he realizes that he really does miss the woman who loves him. He doesn't want any of the good things that wind up being offered to him. And he goes back to her and she loves him. And what's best about it, I think, uh, for today's world, but maybe for any world, is that the woman who um, cut him in half, who did such a dreadful thing to him, she's not punished. Um, They forgive her. She is sad and nobody loves her, but she is not burned or hanged or drowned or any of those terrible 
things that we often do when we don't um, when we don't feel like we're strong enough to keep going regardless of what has happened to us. Once we recognize how resilient we are, then we can forgive the ones who have done us wrongs and we can let them live and let ourselves live. The book is called Treasury of Magical Tales. I'm giving away a few copies. Go to my social media pages. You'll see the icon and it'll tell you what to do to win a few copies. Let me ask you, Donna Jo, if they don't win a copy, where do they get their copy? Uh, It's at your favorite local or internet retailer, I hope. Uh, You can also go to National (laughs) Geographic website to find out how to buy it. And you can go to my website, DonnaJoNapoli.com. Donna Jo Napoli, this is a beautiful book. Your soul is beautiful. Thank you for stopping by the Valder BB Show to talk about the treasury of magical tales from around the world. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for inviting me. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free, head on over to myphonepouch.com.